Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason and today we're back with some more Distant Worlds Universe Star Pirate playthrough. Last time I spent most of the time kind of confused and getting my bearings straight, so I am very sorry about that. Uh, this time here, I I kind of think I know where I'm at. <laughs> I, th I think I spent enough time in the last one uh, figuring that all out. Uh, and hopefully this time here I will uh, be able to actually, you know, get... Uh, get uh get get going you know get get, get uh, into the role uh, role of things you, you know what i'm saying get into uh you know uh, get into the right mindset and really start doing some stuff here basically uh what we uh, what we've decided or what we we've learned basically is that uh, i'm screwed um we are we are we are quickly losing this game uh and i need to go on the offensive if i'm going to um oh wow uh, the leader of the Takwa uh, Consortium, whatever, has been killed. Uh, which which faction is that? Uh, the Takwa Consortium. Ah, the um, uh, the uh, what are they? What are they called again? Oh, come on, the Tekans, right? Is it Tekans? Where are they? Uh, Tekans, yes. So, um, anyways, right now we are sitting here above the uh, the, th the third fleet, which are in the uh, At Atuko system. Um, and we're basically they're they're currently clearing things out now. We're, they're blowing up some mining uh, stations and stuff, but we, I do see this nice nice planet here um, that's got a holy crap. That's a whole lot of troops. Maybe maybe never mind. <laughs> I'm like no, this this is not a really good place for uh, invasion. We did find a, a decent planet that I I wanted to uh, invade last time. Was it um, was it Kila Prime? It's Kila Prime. I think is a little bit less um, a little bit less uh, fortified. Yeah, there's like no troops here, so if we were to invade, uh, we could actually totally take this planet. Hmm. Well, you know what? I, I this is not the planet that I I, I had thought of last time, um, but it uh, it's a good planet. Uh, so what I'm gonna do? It's, it's a good planet to go ahead and take. It's it's basically undefended. Um. So what I'm thinking? Oh, that's true. That's true. We can't actually invade unless we have troops. Now we got 10k. In the sixth fleet, L let me see something. If I right click, if I click on this with like control click, uh, is there an option to um, uh, attack, load troops, blockade, patrol, bombard, attack? Now, will that automatically just get me to? Um, yeah, may maybe my idea was flawed because I I'm thinking about that. I'm like, whenever you attack as a pirate faction, you're basically just raiding. So I'm not so sure that there is, there is, um, that you can necessarily, um, invade a planet. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so somebody in the last episode is pro somebody, someone in the comments of the last episode, even though I've, I just recorded that yesterday, uh, and, uh, by the time they see the other episode, this one, you know, this one will have already been recorded. Um, this, um, I don't think I can. Uh, invade a planet as a pirate faction. I think uh, what I need to do is start maybe research um, maybe different types of colonization and then I'm going to have to start investing in maybe bombardment. Um, oh, that's perfect! Weapons! We are we are uh, researching bombard weapons. Um, so if we... Yeah, so I think I'm going to queue up. We've got a bunch of other things that are queued up. Um, our research is going to go so slow. Uh, let's go with continental colonization. Eventually, we're we're gonna have to go down this road because I yeah I don't I'm I'm very I'm pretty certain that I cannot invade uh, a planet. Um, darn, it. I, I, it's a uh, you know you you play for a while and you you still have that mentality right? You still have it in your head that you are um um that you're still playing like an empire, right? Yeah, I still got the, the the that in my head that I'm playing as an empire, but I'm playing as a pirate, and uh, even though we have um, a couple of colonies. I really need to, um, I really need to get it in my head. I really need to, um, attack for a Xurian hive. No, I'm good. I just want smuggling missions. I, I, I don't have the resources to, uh, start launching a bunch of attack missions. Um, I really don't have a whole lot of ships moving on smuggling, do I? Where, where are all my, uh, let me see my sum summary here. Other state. We've got, uh, we got a lot of small freighters and crap. Like, why is there just that low of a demand for supplies? Hmm. 
Yeah, I think what I'm gonna have to do is start um, doing something I, I don't necessarily want to do, uh, and that is um, bombarding planets. Um, like I, like I mentioned uh, at the, the end of the last episode, when I was when I was going over my my faults, I'm going over here. Here's my problems. Um, one of the biggest problems I, I I really believe I have is that I'm playing too nice. I need to um, I need to become ruthless. I need to start. Um, you know, I, I, I'm fighting for my survival here, so I feel like a planetary bombardment, just killing everyone on the planet, wiping it out, and trying to destroy as many people as possible within my area uh, of influence is the best, uh, best course of action. I need to, I just need to kill the heck out of a lot of people, um, until I can get the, the colonization technologies. Um... And that, that goes, it's so fundamentally against how I like to play and how I am as a person. Because I feel bad when I play these games and I'm like, uh, yeah, we're gonna just, um, we're gonna just, uh, you know, go ahead and, uh, kill a person here. And I, I'll be like, no, I, I feel bad about that. I don't want to do that. Like, I, I want to be nice to people, even though, even though they are, they're fictional, you know, these aren't real people or anything like that. They're just, you know, it's, 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 it's just, it's basically scripts running, right? It's just, uh. Um, we have completed construction of a hidden base at our power controlled colony of Kila Prime 1. Let's go to the event location. So we have a hidden pirate base. Nice. So, uh, hey, we, we at least control this planet. So, uh, even though, well, maybe, sorry, I shouldn't say we control the planet, we have some control on it. That said, now I don't want to bombard this planet. <laughs> I'm like, no, we've, we've got a bit of a foothold here. Um, hopefully that will help with, uh, our income. Um, let me see. Kill a prime. Uh, if, if I have a, a base set up on the planet, does that allow me to adjust the tax? No, that's only if you, like, own, own a planet. You can adjust the tax rate. Um, so this one is still growing. I don't want to mess with the taxes too much. We'll just let that, leave that at zero uh, percent. Mortal 2 will keep the taxes up, um, eh, pretty high. We, 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 we definitely need the money that, uh, that it's bringing in. Um, we need to keep that, uh, keep that going. Um, but this one here, yeah, we're not gonna bother taxing Column 3. Uh, Killer Prime 1. Um, we need to, we, we need to, we'll say be, uh, be weary, or be wary, sorry. Um, because I know that the, the troops, uh, they, they, if they start building troops, then we know that we're, they're going to try to, uh, take this planet from us. I, I really like this planet here. This is like, this is like a really complex situation on this planet. You know, the Gazurians own the planet, uh, but we have, you know, that facility here. Uh, we don't want them to really get a, a foothold, uh, really any, any further in there. So, uh, anyways, while I was talking, I, uh, combined the third and the sixth fleet together. Uh, and I'm going to joint, jointly give them the order to refuel and repair. Uh, make sure that they are ready to go, because the Sixth Fleet is kind of my, my, it's kind of a big deal. That's, I think that's the fleet with the greatest firepower. Nope. The dead Fleet is, but Dead Fleet kind of sucks. Um, <laughs> they really do. Uh, they need to refuel and stuff, so I'm just going to go ahead and tell them to, uh, refuel. I might need to... I was gonna send them back over here because I was I was gonna like oh yeah I'll mass up some troops and stuff but you know today I I, I seem like I have my brain my, my brain's working today so uh, I'm realizing that's not going to be uh, an option. Uh whoa whoa okay. Uh, basically I saw the the uh, the yellow uh, circle uh, going up from the home base defense and I saw the word above attack, uh, but I, I just you know we've cr completed a frigate that that's. That's fine. So we've just started a new year. Uh, there's our bonus income. I, I know we need funds. I'm working on it. I'm sorry. Uh, we need to start raiding planets. Um, you know, even though we can't, uh, we'll say invade and take over planets, we need to be uh, invading them. So, um, sixth fleet. You know, the second res. No, oh, these these recovery fleets. Actually, you know, let me let me let me check on these. Um. Where's the construction ship? All right, it is currently working on the capital ship. Only two components uh, damaged, so we're gonna get our, be getting ourselves a new capital ship very shortly. Um, that's always nice. Oh, nice. Uh, we got a bunch of resources. Oh wow, that's that's the second one we've we've so we've raided two different um, colonies. That's actually kind of great. 
See, that, that's, that's, that's my problem here. I don't want to, to necessarily bombard these planets to, uh, like, death. I don't want to, to, to be bombarding uh, planets until there, there's nothing left. I want to bring them down to the point where they're absolutely crippled. Basically, beginning of the game's uh, sort of uh, levels of crippled. And that way there, you know, it gives me more time to keep uh, keep working. I feel like the Cyclada Miner, uh, this 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 faction right here, is right in the core of where I want uh, I want to be. So I think we're going to um, actually wait. Did I not uh, task an exploration ship with coming here? I believe I did. Uh, where is it? This one here, Antar Subterfuge. Where are you at? Uh, you are the World Annihilator Project. No, you're not the one. I wanted to keep you there to keep an eye on things. Um, did I, did I automate one? I guess, or maybe you got destroyed. That's completely possible. Um, yeah, it's possible one of my exploration ships were just destroyed. Uh, where are you? You're all the way up there. Yeah, I, I think what I'll do is actually I'll just take, uh, what's my nearest fleet? The 10th Harasser fleet. I think they're going to go ahead and, yeah, they're refueling. They've got, like, nothing. I need to grab a fleet and send it over into the system to sort of just check things out uh, and then uh, bombard their, their home planet. You know what? Let's, uh, the 7th Homeworld Defense Fleet, whatever. We'll send them over here and then we'll send them right back. Um, we'll send them to go over there. We'll come back here. Uh, and then I will queue up an order to have them come back and patrol the Morlu uh, 2 spaceport. So they're going to head off, get us a little bit of intel. Uh, they've got guns on them, so they should be able to defend themselves should something uh, come at them. Um, but it'll give us a bit of a glimpse uh, as to what they've got here. And uh, if I can get in there, um, nice. Because our, our capital ship is ready to go. Uh, let's go ahead. Actually, what uh, fleet should we uh, throw this into? Maybe Sixth Fleet? Sure. It's into the Sixth Fleet. Sixth Fleet's currently uh, working on getting uh, all repaired and stuff, so... Uh, it, it, you know, they'll, they'll fit right in. They can just go ahead and... Uh, we'll have, like, a whole fleet just of, uh, of capital ships and, I believe, one cruiser, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send off a, a fleet over here just to see... Because, I, like I said, I'm going to need to start bombarding. I need to start bombarding. I need to start knocking these people down. Uh, particularly the Gazurians. I want to be able to... Uh, keep them down. Now, I'm kind of concerned, though. If I start bombarding this planet, will I lose my hidden pirate base? That's, uh, that's, that's not something I want to lose, right? <laughs> I, I don't have any money to replace that. Uh, and that's, that's, that's helping me hold on to this planet, right? So, we're gonna, we're gonna try bombarding this cloud of miner. Um, we might need to start moving away from the Gazurians, because I'm pretty sure, uh, I, because the Gazurians, uh, like we looked at them last time, um, Nope, wrong thing. Um, look how look how far ahead they are. They are going to wipe out everything in this galaxy. Um, so I kind of want. Uh, um, I, I do need to defend my line here. Like uh, if they get any closer, I do need to start. I do need to just start going on the offensive and destroying their planets, destroying the ships as much as possible to prevent them from going down. And hopefully the uh, other empires uh, will be able to start. Um, engaging them in some meaningful way, like start, you know, hitting them and, you know, actually, I don't, I don't even, know, even know if anyone... Yeah, see, they're they're pleased with them. Yeah, so it seems they have upset the other two big players that we're aware of. Uh, the Boscara Collective is bigger, though, than both... Um, I, I, I think it's, a, it's cl uh, close, but I think the Boscara Collective is still a little bit... Uh, uh, more ahead than the uh, Thakwa cons uh, Consortium. So, yeah, either way, the whole galaxy looks like it's going to be probably losing to the the Gazurians. Ah, oh, darn it. So our raid that we uh, had started last time on uh, Ursotut um, went poorly, and our forces have withdrawn. So, um, yeah, they defended against the invasion. We weren't able to get anything out of that. That's um, that's a shame. Uh, and the Lone Star Council is establishing a nice... Uh, facility there, and the Asian bandits already control that, so... Um... Hmm... I think that might have been because I, I... It's possible... Oh, a bounty hunter joins us. Uh, the Fearless Fugitive. Oh, well, let me see. What, uh, what ship is that? Where's the Fearless Fugitive? Is this, this, is this one? 
All right, so he's he's joined up with us. Cool. He's going to be destroyed in just you know a couple seconds, but it's cool that somebody's uh, joined our faction. Um, go ahead and do some work. Go raid a planet for us. Uh, he's dead. He's totally dead. <laughs> um, actually, let me see. Let's see. We've got an escort. Actually, two escorts. He might have enough um, firepower to to push these guys away at least. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, he's definitely got a lot more firepower. Okay, cool. So uh, that's cool. Uh, as, um, add a little, adding a little bit of um, uh, of a presence over at Kuro Four for us. That's cool. That's going to help us sort of keep uh, control of that planet. Uh, but yeah, I suspect if, uh, since I pulled away the tenth harasser fleet, uh, the fact that they weren't over the planet, uh, which didn't give us space control. Is probably why our forces uh, didn't fare so well. So that that was uh, that was a misstep on my part. All right, so we now have a ship uh, in. Um, our proud Vengeance is now within the Cyclada Minor uh, system that should allow us to see what they've got here. Uh, so they've got a defensive base uh, and a large spaceport. So yeah. Oh, actually, they got a, a second defensive base. So this planet is, will be uh, probably a little bit outside of our ability to get to. Uh, let me see the large spaceport uh, firepower of 300 which is significant um, the defense bases probably have higher than that no one 192 each and wait the shields are still going up so that tells me okay well one of them is new um, okay so uh, we're gonna get these guys to oh yeah that's right they're gonna head back anyways so they're already queued to, to move back uh, back to the uh, the base. What I do want to do, though, uh, what do we have? The Cyclada Minor Two Defense Platform. Uh, I want to see the in intelligence agents we have. If we can uh, get an intelligence agent that maybe has uh, some skill in sabotage, uh, like this guy here, uh, after maybe after he's done stealing research information, uh, or this guy here, he's not really um, he hasn't really been uh, tested. Uh, we are uh, uh, Urtian. A bounty hunter's fortress. Let's see. Prevent en uh, enemy intelligence missions. What it would be the chances of us being able to uh, destroy, um, destroy base? It's likely going to be extremely low, like completely unlikely. Yeah, sixty-five percent, sixty-five. Uh, I just—he's not. He's just really not tested, right? Um. Yeah. What about sabotage construction? If we sabotage construction at the spaceport, there's a decent chance of that. And then maybe we can see what his actual sabotage percentage is at. Uh, and if it's good, then maybe we can look at start. Uh, we can start looking at destroying his uh, their bases. Uh, so we're gonna get our intelligence uh, agents working on on that a little bit. Um, so those ships are looking to come back or coming down here to uh, to engage. Uh, but uh, my guys should be pulling out of there, right? You guys are leaving. No, you should not be engaging system targets. Um. All right, let's see how this plays out here. No, you guys need to get out of there. Um. Like, like this, this this capital ship has got a lot of firepower, and I probably could win this fight. I'm just scared that. Um. Like, I just don't want to lose any ships, right? I'm so uh, I'm so low on funds right now. Yeah, so like, just just pull out of there, please. I'm saying this. I'm not giving the, actually giving them the order because part of me is still kind of a little bit curious. Okay, so yeah, they, it looks like they are uh, they are warping out. Uh, what are you doing though? Okay, you've decided to stick around. Capital ship has decided. Hey, it wants to to hang around here. Um, I guess it's. It, it, I guess it decided it was gonna try to cover for uh, my my escaping uh, other ships like the frigate. Um, I, I guess as long as the shields don't drop um, below like fifty percent, um, I I'll allow this to continue because it is kind of nice to be able to to inflict some damage on them. Um, yeah, because they're, they're, they're not even, they're not, uh, they, I don't believe they've got rail guns, right? No. So they're, they're not even punching through the shields uh, of my capital ship. So it's not actually taking any damage. And they seem to be having a hard time even, you know, getting through the shields. Uh, meanwhile, the capital ship is just tearing them up. So 
Um, I'm gonna allow this to continue. Let's let's see here. It won't, it won't be able to last for for oh, forever though. Like yeah, that's starting to go down. Uh, no, no, no. I'm giving I'm giving the order. I'm giving the order. Get out of there. <gasps> no! What the heck happened? What the heck happened? Move. Ah, uh, see, that's just so uh, interesting. It's like the computer knows when you pull a sh uh, pull a fleet away. Uh, it just looks like the um, the sixth fleet happened to arrive at Mortaloo too. Uh, just at a really opportune time because it looks like this cloud of minor. Um, I guess they they knew that my defensive fleet wasn't there, so they decided to attack. Like I don't know, the timing on that seems really suspicious. Um, luckily, we do have a um, what's the size of that? That is a medium spaceport. So we've got a medium spaceport, um, which actually has more firepower than uh, their large spaceport, and we've got some capital ships um, uh, uh, up in orbit. So uh, that's. Yeah, so, so that attack got uh, uh, staved off. Like that, that, that scared me though. I was like, "No, are you kidding me?" Um, yeah, we'll we'll just give them the order to uh, go back and repair and stuff. Um, so our engineers have completed the research and bombard weapons. This breakthrough provides the new component, nuclear devastator, for our ships and bases. I believe it said. All right, so we need to know what other kind of weapons. Like I, I, I feel like. Uh, we want, um, yeah, we're gonna want bombardment. Uh, we need to, we need to kind of play dirty. Um, and the only way I can see of doing that is just wiping out all life. <laughs> wiping out, wiping out everything, uh, that, that, uh, that gets in our way. So we're gonna go with a bombardment. Um, not something I'm really, uh, not something I'm proud of, but hey, um, we do want that. I do want high density alloys though. What's more important? I think the high density alloys. Yeah. So I'll put enhanced bombardment second. Um I do want to be able to uh hit uh hit the like actually do damage to the enemies. Um I'm trying to think of like strategies here. Because my ships kind of suck right now. Um and I'm I'm mostly using just recovered uh recovered ships like my my own you know, say, we'll say my own, my own built ships uh, are very weak. So I'm trying to think of what strategy to do I eventually want to use. When I can start building ships that are decent, what kind of strategies do I want to use? And part of me wants to just go into, um, like starfighters, go into bombers and stuff. Uh, that way they're, you know, I can, you, we can launch the fighters and stuff like that. And we can engage from a distance. Um, I think that's probably a good idea. Make, like, go for like fast ships. Uh, that sort of harass using like uh, fighters and stuff and that that'll help us with bases more too um, yeah let's do that uh, and so along with that I guess I should um, so I do have enhanced engines there somewhere damage control is important so that's definitely a priority uh, what's the so enhanced transport hmm Enhanced transport. Well, oh, yeah, nuclear supercharging. Sorry, that's what I'm looking at. Yeah, nuclear supercharging is pretty important. So we'll go with that nuclear su supercharging, damage control, and then we definitely want to boost our our engines and our uh, maneuvering and stuff. It's, it's going to take so long uh, unless we start really getting um, like our intelligence agents getting out there and um, you know stealing research and crap like that. All right, there we go. All right, I'm gonna tell my dead fleet to actually come here and raid uh, Killer Prime One. Uh, it does, oh, it has been recently raided. Oh well. Well, hopefully by the time we get there, uh, they won't have been. Uh, but I'm just, I just want to go ahead and just destroy everything here. Um, actually, maybe that's a little bit rash. Is there a, a better target nearby? All right. Well, Rearm doesn't look like it's, um, it's been raided at any point. Wait a second. I can build a mining station, small spaceport. Interesting. Why can I... I don't own this planet, right? This looks different. Normally there's... Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's an independent or something. Um, 
I should be able to, to raid this, right? Why won't it let me raid them? Raid it. Oh, there we go. Interesting. So I can only raid it with one ship? Huh. Now these these ships here are mostly like uh, um like like I refer to them as like floaters, but why why uh why can't I raid uh, Rearm? I've been raiding Rearm all this entire time, right? So um, part of me is like, well, if if it doesn't want to let me raid them, then why? Like, is there a reason why should I be nice? No, Jason, stop being nice. Okay. Um. All right, just raid it, raid it, raid that planet, steal all of its loot. There we go. <laughs> I'm just like, no, no, you, hey, you, you, go raid, raid rear. Make sure that that there's enough uh, people down, send down to the surface to uh, get all the crap we want off that planet. Oh, yeah, okay. I guess I guess that's probably a good reason why the population. <laughs> the population is so great that it's just not worth uh, raiding the planet because we're not going to succeed. Okay. Yeah. Note. Note taken. Oh, that's just, just that's just so so fun to watch. Um, when they, when they all just sort of warp in, and it's like ah. Unfortunately, they, uh, they those, uh, those those frigates managed to get away. But I'm kind of hoping for a um, yeah. So we 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 raided. Okay, we successfully uh, did it too. I'm I'm surprised. Like that that was really quick. Well, I'm like, I, I'm surprised. Really, 1K. Interesting. I mean, there's a, there's a really small population, but. Oh, okay, guys, you can stop sending people down to the surface. Uh, I'm really kind of hoping, since, since I've got like a bunch of ships here, uh, for like a Gazurian uh, like counterattack, just so that we can we can inflict some damage, because uh, I suspect they're not going to send e enough numbers to really uh, counteract this. Okay, so what I'm wondering here, um, you know, because we're having a hard time, I know I should probably try to get, um, mining bases would be helpful. Uh, because let me see how many, I, I do have mining ships, uh, you know, and they are getting resources, and I am getting resources from raiding, um, but I think part of the reason why my smuggling is failing so hard is that, um, I guess it's not that hard, like, I, I am making money from it, um, but I'm definitely making the most money from controlled colonies. Um, actually, wow, look at this year. Mining. Wait, wait, this year. Okay, wow, so this year has actually been a lot better for for us mining. Look at that. You know, we're, we're, we're still sucking pretty hard, but um, that's 35,000 uh, so far this year. So that's definitely an improvement over last year. Uh, smuggling, though, is where we, we've lost a lot of money. Huh, that's interesting. And this year we've made hardly anything from control colonies. So, it's, it, yeah, it's interesting. I, I feel like I, I need to be going back to the Empire's, um... Um... The Empire summary screen, screen more often. Uh, just to, uh, to keep an eye on, uh, keep an eye on things. To make sure that, you know, I, I'm always, uh, well, look at this. 21 smugglers performing this mission. Kazlon to Akuro 4. Um, uh, I've been, I've been uh, having to come back to this, uh, making sure to keep an eye on it uh, frequently so that I can, uh, you know, keep uh, keep accepting missions whenever they are available. Um, okay, we're, we're making some money from smuggling. That's not too bad. Oh, I do want to point out, because um, I, I know somebody's going to, someone's going to comment on this. Uh, I did get my, um, uh, the Solar Venture, my, my construction ship, I did get it started on repairing this cruiser after I had pulled the uh, the capital ship away. Um, I, I, I believe I did that off, uh, the, that off camera, so a little bit earlier it might have looked like I just left it there and then... Um, you know, just, just forgot about it. Um, but, you know, I, I went ahead and I, I did assign that. Because people, I, f I find um, it's, it's a lot easier when you're actually... Uh, when you're just watching, you I, you pick you pick up more, right? Because your your attention is dedicated entirely to what's on the screen. Um, so so you know the viewers are are always going to be more observant than me, and they're always going to be more uh, put together than me, uh, and they're going to point these things out to me. So 
I'm just preempting that one. Uh, I've I've got the sixth uh, fleet. Uh, I'm sending them over to uh, Atuko, uh, which is um, you know one of the planets by the Lone Star Council, and I'm gonna bombard the crap out of it. I'm gonna just destroy this planet, um, and uh, I think that'll be a fun time. You know, good nice nice weekend activity. Just go blow up a planet. You know, slaughter millions of people. Sounds good. Oh, I feel terrible. <laughs> this feels horrible. All right, two things happening right about the same time. Uh, the rear rear is getting um, a lot of Gazurians, a lot of other ships, um, very interested in it. Uh, so uh, I actually I'm bringing the dead fleet over, uh, just <laughs> all my my frigates and crap. Uh, and then also the sixth fleet is just about to drop into the system here uh, of uh, Atuko two. Uh, and uh, so. Where's, uh, the 6th fleet? There you are. All dropping in. Uh, so let's just give them the order, the order to, um, dang, that is... That's a really nice planet. Let's see, uh, Lone Star Council. Well, considering they are, what, at the very top of the list, list um, to me it only makes sense to, um, to, to wipe them off the map. I, I need to knock them down a peg. We're what, in what place? Sixth place. I don't like being in sixth place. So let's let's do some damage. All right. So uh, I guess we're firing. What are we firing upon right now? Oh, the their their exploration ship that's trying to escape. There we go. I I hope I hope that thing that thing uh, is nice and thoroughly destroyed. Oh look, it's nice and thoroughly destroyed. All right. Let's let our uh, capital ships get into position. And what are they hitting? Are they actually bombarding the planet? Yes, they are. There we go. Mmm, yes! Destruction. Alright. Uh, and by, by the time that that planet is uh, usable again, we might have the technology to colonize a continental planet. Nice. Uh, let's see, the 12th, uh, the, sorry, the, uh, the dead fleet is now in system here with uh, these guys. Whoa! I did not want you to... Okay, I'm hoping that uh, the rest of the fleet comes over to help you out. No, they're all focusing on Rearm because I gave them the stupid order. Um, okay, let me see. Rel Relentless Rendezvous. I'm hoping that you will hold out for long enough. Uh, no, you need to get out of there. Get out of there. Darn it. Okay. You guys, over here. Shoot the- why are you just not letting- Attack! Crap! No! Get out of there! <sighs> you know, when I gave the order for them to attack, um, to raid Rearm, I expected the capital ship to follow that same order and go over to Rearm. But instead, it would appear that, um, it wanted to come over here and blow up the- uh, fight these ships. Uh, you know, rather than hitting Rearm and then collectively saying, Okay, now let's go ahead and, uh, take on these Gazurian ships. Okay. My capital ship is escaping. Whatever, you know what? Just-, just Forget it, guys. Just just raid the planet, and hopefully we can get something out of this. Um, so the Gazurians have made a breakthrough in the key technology of marshy swamp colonization. Yay! All right, all right, guys. Well, uh, I'm looking at the time. I am out of time for today. Um, I I I feel like I'm I'm struggling here. Um, but uh, you know. Like I said, hopefully, hopefully we can, uh, <laughs> since I don't feel like we can actually get ahead of these people, I feel like the only, only way to uh, get ahead in the game is to bring them down. So this is why I, I've decided, you know what, we are going to be terrible. We are going to be cutthroat and ruthless, and we are going to slaughter millions and millions and billions of people. Yep, that's our plan, and we'll continue that plan next time. So, uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, well, leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. And until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on.